In this video, I'm working sector 8. The sectors around me are sector 6, sector 7, and sector 10. These sector numbers are for air traffic control's internal use and are irrelevant and unknown to pilots. American 1711 is traveling southeast bound, and when they check onto my frequency, they're going to inquire about the ride conditions at other altitudes. 99% of the time, when you check onto another controller's frequency, you're not actually in their airspace yet. This is the case in this example, where American 1711 is about 40 miles away from actually entering my airspace. Center American 1711, flight level 330, continuous chop, power of the ride, Santa flight level 310. American 1711, LA Center flight level 310 has been my best ride. We'd like to request flight level 310, American 1711. American 1711, standby. At this point, I have to call all three sectors which American is affecting before they get into my airspace. These three controllers have all previously approved American 1711 to fly through their airspace, but only at flight level 330. Listen as I call all three controllers to obtain permission or control to descend American 1711. Sector 10. Sector 8, APREC control for descent American 1711. American 1711 is your control, MC. AS. Sector 6. Sector 8, APREC control for descent American 1711. Approved as requested, Andy. AS. Sector 7. Sector 8, APREC, Control for Descent, American 1711. American 1711, your control, RS. AS. American 1711, Descent and Maintain, Flight Level 310. Descent and Maintain, Flight Level 310, American 1711. All of this coordination was shown in real time, demonstrating the fast-paced tempo of the job of an air traffic controller. Next time you make a request, consider the coordination which may be going on behind the scenes, on the landline. To sharpen your aviation radio skills and practice talking to air traffic control from home, visit www.pilotedge.net.